I'm checking the area for safety. It is safe to enter. And I'm showing my hands with six steps of hand hygiene. Hello, good morning. Hello. Uh, my name is Esther and mm -hmm. I'm a nurse today. Mm -hmm. And I came here to do an assessment. Mm -hmm. Is it all right? Yes. Can you please tell me your full name? Oliver Thompson. Okay. What's your preferred name? Oliver. All right, Oliver. Can you tell me your date of birth, please? Uh, 6, 1930. All right, that's right. Uh, can I cross check with your ID bank? Yes. Okay. So Oliver Thompson, Oliver Thompson, date of birth is 12-6-1930, 12-6-1930. Hospital number is 12345, 12345. That's where I'm with the right person. I can see you're wearing an, uh, you're wearing an allergy band. What are you allergic to? Codeine. Okay. I can see it's written here, codeine. Okay. What reaction you get with codeine? Passive. You get rashes? Yeah. Okay. We'll make sure we won't give you any medicines with codeine, okay? Okay. Um, Oliver, do you have any vision or hearing problem? No. You're fine. In his English, your preferred language? Yes. Okay. Are you comfortable now? Yeah. Could you please raise my head? Yeah, are you sure? Are you feeling breathless? Yes. Okay, I can see you are having oxygen. So I'm just checking the flow meter and you're on 4 liters of oxygen. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable with this mask? Yes. Okay. And we will check the skin under your mask mm -hmm. to make sure there is no skin breakdown. Okay. I'll apply some moisturizer as mm -hmm. well after my assessment. Okay? okay? Okay. I can see paracetamol on your table. Is that yours? Yes. Okay. Is it okay if I lock it away? Because while you're in the hospital, you will administer the prescribed medication. Yes. So it is unsafe to keep medications like this. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm locking it away. Mm -hmm. uh, and Oliver, uh, do you know what brought you to the hospital? Yes, I have shortness of breath. Yes. And heart failure. Yes, you're diagnosed with heart failure. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You were actually you were diagnosed with decompensated heart failure since 2018, isn't it? Yeah. And are you on medications for that? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Any other problems you have? Yeah. Other than heart failure? Yes. I had um, hypertension. Yeah. Hyper, uh, high cholesterol. Yes. And right. this heart okay. failure. And you are on medications for all these things, mm -hmm. isn't it? Okay, that's fine. All right. So, uh, it's actually, I can see that in the document it says, you are prescribed with Prozimide, mm -hmm. that is to get rid of excess fluid from your body, okay. and that is through IV. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why you're having cannula. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. Your cannulation site is fine at the moment. Yes. Okay. There's no sign of any oh. infection. Okay. Are you comfortable now? I feel really cold. Really? I'm yeah. so sorry. Can I cover you with this blanket? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you feeling okay now? Yeah. All right. Okay. The call bell is here. Okay. If you need any help, please don't press the bell. Okay. okay. All right. So I need to check your vital signs now. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. Can you please open your mouth? Okay. I can still see. Is it okay if I just lift the mask? Up? Yes. Okay. Can you please open your mouth? Okay. That's fine. So you don't have. I cannot see any visual obstruction. Okay. So that's fine. So from your breathing, I can see you are struggling a bit to breathe, yes. but you are not uses, using any accessory muscles. I cannot hear any respiratory noises. Just movement is equal. Mm -hmm. So that means there is equal energy in both lungs and there is no cease of breathing. Mm -hmm. You are not cyanotic. You are not sweating. Okay. I need to check your respiratory right now. Okay. Along with that, I will check the rhythm and depth as well. Mm -hmm. Can you please close your arm and close your chest like this?
That's fine. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Actually, you are breathing too fast. And your uh, respiratory rate is your respiratory rate is actually twenty five. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And I can see you are on four liters of oxygen by single face mask. Okay. Um, I need to check your uh, capillary refill. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Yes. I'll be pressing the tip of the nail bed for five seconds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna attach the sad spot on the same finger. After that, I will check the blood pressure. Okay. I'll clear the floor after I finish my system because the temperature, the ear probe of the tendonic thermometer fell along the floor, so I'll clear that after my system. Are you feeling comfortable? Yes. Okay, your saturation is 98. Mm -hmm. That's good. So, and you are on scale 1. I'm going to document that. 98. Which arm do you prefer for checking blood pressure? Right arm. Yeah, because there is candle on the other hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I expose you minimally? Yes. Carton is already closed. Yes. Okay, no infection, inflammation, crystal or cannula. Have you had any surgery on this hand before? No. So I'm going to place this on your arm, two to three centimeters of your brachial artery, okay. and the cuff is of curved size. It will get inflated. Let me know if it is too tight. Okay. Is it too tight? No. 103 over 69. Is that normal for you? No, it's normal for me. Okay. Okay. This time. I'm covering your back. Okay. Uh, I need to check your temperature now using a timbani thermometer. Okay. Which goes into your area. Which area do you prefer? Right, yeah. We check, no infection, no oozing, no hearing aid. So I'm going to take the thermometer. Okay, just putting into your ear. Okay. As I said, the temperature is 36.9. I'm going to discard it. It's okay. Okay. I'm just documenting that. Okay. So through our communication, I can see that you are alert because you are talking to me. Um, I need to check your pulse right now. Okay. Is that fine? Okay. So one good minute. Yeah. So the radial pulse, yeah.
Okay. Your pulse rate is 80. Okay. The rhythm is normal. The strength is also good. It is not weak or bumping pulse. Uh, do you know how much is your blood sugar? No. Okay. I suspect, can I please know the blood sugar, please? 4.8. 4.8, okay. Your well, blood sugar is 4.8, okay. so that's good. Okay. Normal is 4 to 7. Okay. okay. Are you passing urine okay? Is there any pain, urgency, or frequency? My urine is cloudy. I don't have any pain or urgency, but my urine is cloudy. Okay. Urine is cloudy. Do you feel you're passing urine more frequently? Yes. Okay. That could be because you are having the fuzzy mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but because you say you are miss cloudy, I'll give you a specimen bottle after my assessment. Okay. So get some urine specimen in there. I will okay. send it to the lab for to find out whether you have any urinary tract infection. Okay. I will explain that to the doctor. Okay. Okay. So it is very important you maintain good personal hygiene okay. and drink fluids as well because you are having heart failure. There could be some fluid restrictions. Uh, it is not documented here, but I will check with the doctor how much you are allowed. Okay. So you need to maintain um, that fluid intake. Okay. I will maintain a fluid chart as well. Okay. okay? Uh, and um, so you already told me about your medical history. Mm -hmm. Do you have any injuries, bleeding, or bruises anywhere? No. Okay, it's fine. All right. Uh, so how, how is your eating and drinking? I'm not able to eat or drink anything since one week and it's very much decreased. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any swallowing difficulty? I don't think so. Oh, right. oh, is it because I, you, you don't feel hungry? I don't feel like doing anything nowadays. I emotionally, you know, I don't, I don't feel really sad. Oh, I can see you're very upset. Okay. Yeah, because I, my partner is at home. He lives alone and he has cognitive impairment. What if I die because of this heart failure? Who will take care of him? And he currently is alone. So I'm really worried about it. I'm oh. really sad and I'm not able to eat or drink anything since two weeks. Okay. So really Does your partner need any help? Yes, please. He needs help. Alright, so anyway, I will um, escalate this to the social service. Okay. okay. Uh, they will arrange a care for your partner. Okay. okay. Alright. Um, okay, so you told you are not eating well. Yeah. But it is very important to maintain good nutrition. Okay. Uh, and uh, try to eat small, frequent meals. Okay. okay. If you need help, we will come and assist you with that as well. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the doctor will come and explain you about the banishment. Okay. Okay. And we are also here to help you. Okay. Do you think you need some spiritual support? Yes, that would be helpful. Okay, that's fine. Like we have chaplain services here. Okay. Are you happy to be referred to the service? Yes, yes, yes please. So after my assessment, I'll do that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Do you have any other family members who can visit you? If like. If seeing your family will make you comfortable, I can arrange open visiting hours. Yes, I have my two daughters. I would like them to okay. visit me. Okay. All right. Well. So if you can give me the contact number, I can ring them and I can tell them they can come and visit you at any time. Okay. That's fine. Okay. And we are also here to help you. Okay. Okay. We have like support services. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you think you need to talk to someone, you need more emotional support, I can refer you to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Just let me know whenever you are, you want to be on the phone. Okay. But we are also here to help. Okay. All right. The call bell is here. Just press the bell. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so, do you have your own clothes with you? I don't have my own clothes. So okay. I don't know. Would you it's like to wear your own clothes? Yeah. I okay. would like to wear my own clothes. So I can bring your two daughters and mm -hmm. I can ask them to bring uh, some clothes for you. Yeah, that would be good. And we will help you with um, washing and dressing. Okay. 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 And also, like, you know, you're having heart failure, okay? There is some swelling as well. Yes. You can see that. 
So you are at like risk of getting skin breakdown, pressure sore. Okay. So we will reposition you. We will change your position like every two hours. Okay. We will moisturize the skin. Okay. okay. So we will help you with eating and drinking because good nutrition is also important. Yeah. I'll change this mattress to a pressure relieving mattress. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, how is your mobility? Mobility. I used to walk independently before. Mm -hmm. But nowadays I feel really tired, um, okay. very tired and yeah. weak, so I'm not able to walk properly. Oh. Oh, right. mm -hmm. uh, we will help you, okay, mm -hmm. anyway you are on oxygen, so we will help you with portable oxygen cylinder. Okay. And also you are on frosimide, which it actually helps with getting rid of excess fluid from the body. Okay. And also you are not eating and drinking well, together with your condition that can make you feel tired. Okay. So we are here to help you. Okay. Just press the bell if you need any help. Okay. Is there anything else that you are concerned about? Nothing else. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I need to calculate your early morning score. So, your early morning score is 6. Okay. So, I will be monitoring you hourly mm -hmm. and I will explain that to the doctor. Okay. okay. Okay, the call bell is here. Mm -hmm. Please do let us know if you need any help. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to ask you, do you have any constipation or diarrhea? I think I have got constipation since okay. two to three days. Since how many days? Two to three days, I, yeah, three days, I think. Okay. Uh, so when you are eating, it's important you need to include some fruits and vegetables. Okay. Fiberish food. Okay. Okay, that will help with constipation. Yeah. And also drink fluids. Okay. So I'll check with the doctor how much you are allowed. Okay. And uh, I'll explain this to the doctor. Okay. He may prescribe laxatives. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you have any other concerns? No. Okay. Uh, so here's the call bell. Uh, please do ring me if you need any help. Okay. Thank you very much. So I will explain the problems to the doctor and also your early morning score uh, to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, oh, Oliver. Thank you. Assessor, I've done the assessment. I'll clean the white sign machine after my assessment. And I'll also clear the floor. Thank you. Filling my hands with six steps up and hatching. Thank you, Oliver. Thanks so much.